Hydraulic lifts are kind of a fun physics topic for the test makers because it allows them to test multiple things within one type of system. So the first thing that they're doing is because you have a water system that is completely attached, any change in pressure in one area is going to change the pressure somewhere else. The second thing that they like to test is uh, the recognition that uh, in the same system where pressure is constant, the force of something is directly proportional to its area. So a larger thing like this will, gener will require a larger force in order to move that versus something with a smaller surface area. And so what we have here once again is a machine where you have something that has a smaller force and something that has a larger force. And they are attached through the same hydraulic system. And so the general principle of this, and this is a principle that allows hydraulic brakes to stop buses and things like that, that allows a small amount of force to have a very large output force. The general principle is that on this smaller level right here, you're putting down a smaller amount of force, but you push it a larger amount of distance. And that causes a change in pressure that is then reflected over here by generating a large amount of force over a smaller amount of distance. And uh, this is how the hydraulic brakes on a bus work, for example, because the operator of the bus will be pushing down on uh, this platform here and using a small amount of force but over a larger distance. And that will have the effect of generating a large amount of force over a much smaller distance. And so the bottom line here is that this works the same as any other machine. Work equals force times distance. And if you have a small force, you push over a larger distance. But that allows you to generate a much larger force over a smaller distance. The mechanical advantage in this comes from the difference in the areas. Because remember, the area is directly proportional to the force that it generates due to the fact that the pressure is the same throughout the entire system. And so if this has an area of, let's say, 10 square meters, and this has an area of 1 square meter, that means you're looking at a 10 to 1 difference in force. So whenever you see a hydraulic lift, the two things you should be thinking about are one, because the pressure throughout this entire system is the same, the ratio of areas corresponds to the ratio of forces. And the other thing that you think, and this is a common thing that you see in all types of machines, is that if you have a small force applied over a larger distance, that performs the equivalent amount of work as a much larger force over a smaller distance. And so with hydraulic lifts, you're testing both the principle that the area and force are proportional to each other, and also that the work equals force times distance, and that uh, larger force means smaller distance, smaller force means larger distance. And so when a hydraulic lift comes up, break it down into the same core principles of machines that you're always using. And that is that you're performing the same amount of work with a large amount of force over a small distance as you're performing with a smaller force over a larger distance. And from there, you're going to be able to understand hydraulic lifts and calculate their mechanical advantage quite well.